automakers and governments around the globe are poised to move electric vehicles in and gas and diesel vehicles out. The electric vehicle mega trend is unfolding and insiders know the time to get in on nickel and cobalt. The two critical elements to electric car batteries already in high demand is now. Don't miss this chance to get in on the opportunity to invest in physical class 1 nickel and cobalt before the mass market catches on. Go to www.silverbullion.com.sg slash EV and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Hello again everyone and welcome to another market update January 2020. Happy New Year and of course happy Chinese New Year. Yes, as you can see in Singapore, hey, Chinese New Year is a big event and part of that event is of course food, family and friends. So again, Happy New Year, Gongxi Fa Kai and Konghi Fa Choi. First things first, some housekeeping aside, if you are new to this channel or you have not already done so, please do subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and click on the bell to be notified on new updates and give us a thumbs up. If you like what we do, we really do appreciate your support and we do hope this will be a great year for each and every one of you. Let's start off by seeing how the battery metals we offer for investors, nickel and cobalt, how they're doing. At the time of this recording in the last week of January of 2020, nickel is just shy of 14,000 per ton with Indonesia lowering if not halting nickel exports this year. Less supply will be coming into the broader market and I think nickel should have a very promising year. Cobalt still struggling, coming in at just over $32,000 per ton. Cobalt is absolutely still needed, and make no mistake, although less cobalt is being used in battery chemistries, cobalt is still an important metal for electric vehicle batteries. From electric.co, Tesla is looking to secure controversial cobalt from Glencore to produce batteries. Tesla is reportedly in talks with mining giant Glencore to secure a supply of cobalt, a controversial mineral used to produce lithium-ion batteries used in most electric vehicles today. Cobalt is a controversial mineral due to most of it coming from mining operations in Congo, a place that has historically been affected by conflict and corruption, which has resulted in child labor in some mining operations. Most tech and auto companies using cobalt have taken steps to avoid sourcing from those operations, but it's a hard thing to track since it changes hands several times before reaching a battery cell. Now Tesla is looking to get its cobalt from Glencore, according to Bloomberg. Glencore PLC is negotiating a long-term contract to ship cobalt to Tesla Inc.'s new electric vehicle factory in Shanghai, according to people familiar with the matter. Glencore, the world's biggest supplier of cobalt, has been securing long-term contracts with several automakers looking to expand electric vehicle production like with VW and BMW. The company gets its cobalt through its subsidiary Katanga Mining, a Canada-based company that operates a copper and cobalt mine in Congo's Katanga province. A year ago, Canadian authorities fined Glencore's Katanga company more than $20 million and banned some of its executives, including billionaire Aristoteles Mistakidis, from serving as a director in Canada over misleading investors regarding their relationship with the Congolese authorities. There are several other mining operations that are looking to produce more cobalt outside of the Republic of Congo, including in Canada, the U.S., and Australia. Some automakers are looking to produce their own battery cells and secure the minerals directly, while others are getting involved through the supplier chain, but the battery cells are being produced by other manufacturers like LG Chem and Panasonic. And that's good news for cobalt. Cobalt is still very much in play when it comes to EV batteries. Also more good news for cobalt came out last month where Audi plans to start recycling cobalt and nickel with Umicor. From Automotive Logistics Media, Audi to start recycling cobalt and nickel with Umicor. 
Audi is to begin taking cobalt and nickel from end-of-life batteries of its e-tron electric vehicle so partner Umacore can use the recovered materials in new battery cells. Audi is to begin taking cobalt and nickel from end-of-life batteries of its e-tron electric vehicle so partner Umacore can use the recovered materials in new battery cells. The introduction of a closed-loop system starting in January follows more than a year of research by the companies. Tests show that more than 90% of the cobalt and nickel in the high-voltage batteries could be recovered. Okay, so as cobalt looks to make a comeback through recycling and the outlook for nickel continues to shine, the electric vehicle industry is quickly moving forward as electric cars get faster, stronger, and they're gaining more range. And of course, they are continuing to get cheaper, more affordable. These simple factors are moving the market forward and we are seeing new players entering the electric vehicle space. One of them is from an electric bike company and he's sort of now entering the electric vehicle space and I do mean sort of. And no, this is not Chuck E. Cheese. Come on. We wanted to be able to execute car quite fast to go from a prototype, an idea, to engineering and production. Okay, so Saunders' roots are in electric bikes, and if you think this electric car looks pretty, well, unique, where it has its own style and class, it might be because this car seems to be a direct reflection of the CEO of Saunders. I'll show you what I mean, where we found a past interview of Mr. Saunders himself, and we just had to juice it up just a little bit. We don't make premium electric transportation because you can afford it. We make it because you deserve it. Today, I'm reclaiming electric for everyone. I don't care if I ruined the whole damn industry. This is too important. Five years ago, I prioritized making this technology accessible. I say, f the margins, f the industry. Okay, let's pause. Are you sure we should be saying this? Because I don't think that the board would be very excited. them too. Okay. Join us, electric for everyone. <laughs> Look out, Elon, there's a new bad boy in town, and I tell you what, I'm going to be looking to see more of Saunders and how it just might spark a whole new direction of adoption within the EV industry. Another newcomer to EVs is a name that we are all familiar with, and that name is Sony. Now, we know Sony is a great entertainment company, and we know Sony makes great electronics, but can we imagine what Sony might bring to the EV industry? From electric.co, okay, so even Sony is showing off electric concept cars. Sony surprised the CES audience today with a new concept electric car, the Vision S prototype. Sony shared a few details of the prototype, which is meant as a showcase for Sony's technologies for the automotive industry. Sony focused on three aspects of the car's technology in its presentation, safety, entertainment, and adaptability. Under the safety category, the Vision S prototype includes 33 sensors to monitor the outside and inside of the car. Sony wanted to prove the viability of sensing features by including its sensors on the car and demonstrate the capabilities of Sony's solutions for the automotive industry. Sony's second focus was to demonstrate how its technologies can benefit in a car entertainment system. The Vision S includes 360 reality audio for an immersive audio experience inside the car. There's also a giant panoramic screen across the dash similar to the Byton, which is also being showcased at CES. 
This pairs with two screens attached to the back of the front seats for rear passengers. Sony intends the car to be adaptable as well with a software-oriented design. The car can be accessed via smartphone app, updated through over-the-air updates, and the car's interface can be personalized for each driver. This adaptability also applies to the car platform, which could be used for various car types in the future, including SUVs and vans. As for specs, Sony claims the car is capable of delivering 400 kilowatt hours or 536 horsepower of power through an all-wheel drive system powered by two electric motors. This allows 0 to 100 km per hour or 0 to 62 miles per hour acceleration of 4.8 seconds and a top speed of 240 km per hour or roughly 150 miles per hour. As new players enter the EV space, battery production and power storage are going to be the next frontier if not already. The last 10 years entering up to 2020 has been called the battery decade and the trend does look to continue this decade where power or energy storage is going to be a huge thing. From CNBC.com, the battery decade, how energy storage could revolutionize industries in the next 10 years. Over the last decade, a surge in lithium-ion battery production has led to an 85% decline in prices, making electric vehicles and energy storage commercially viable for the first time in history. Batteries hold the key to transitioning away from fossil fuel dependence and are set to play a greater role in the coming decade. UBS estimates that over the next 10 years, the energy storage market in the U.S. could grow to as much as $426 billion, and there are many ways to buy into the surge, including chemical companies, battery cell makers, car companies, solar companies, and utility companies. Capturing the massive economic opportunity underlying the shift to controls and battery-based energy systems requires that planners, policymakers, regulators, and investors take an ecosystem approach to developing these markets. Sustainability-focused research firm Rocky Mountain Institute said recently, What a difference a decade can make. In 2010, batteries powered our phones and computers. By the end of the decade, they are starting to power our cars and houses too. Over the last 10 years, a surge in lithium-ion battery production drove down prices to the point that, for the first time in history, electric vehicles became commercially viable from the standpoint of both cost and performance. The next step, and what will define the next decade, is utility-scale storage. As the immediacy of the climate crisis becomes ever more apparent, Batteries hold the key to transitioning to a renewable-fueled world. Solar and wind are playing a greater role in power generation, but without effective energy storage techniques, natural gas and coal are needed for times when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't howling. And so large-scale storage is instrumental if society is to shift away from a world dependent on fossil fuel. UBS estimates that over the next decade, energy storage costs will fall between 66 and 80 percent and that the market will grow to as much as 426 billion worldwide. Along the way, entire ecosystems will grow and develop to support a new age of battery-powered electricity and the effects will be felt throughout society. Okay, so energy storage looks to be the future, and that is here and now today. What also looks to be the future here and now today is your home, where new building codes will provide future provisions in the wiring, and every home will be ready for electric cars. From QZ.com, new U.S. building codes will make every home ready for electric cars. In January, the International Cold Council, or ICC, approved changes to building standards that preview a world in which every home has at least one electric car. The Building Standards Organization, which sets voluntary guidelines for new homes, voted to approve a new provision that 
functionally will make all new homes built in the U.S. EV ready. That's a big change. Homes in the U.S. are typically built with wiring for only a few 240 volt outlets in the garage, typically enough to handle a washer and dryer. But the ICC cites research indicating the U.S. will need 9.6 million new electric vehicle charging ports by 2030. Almost 80% of those will be in single and multifamily residential buildings. So the new voluntary guidelines call for installing panels, outlets, and conduits capable of charging at least one full-size EV in a single-family garage overnight. Multi-family buildings will need two spots along with more that can be easily retrofitted, a standard known as EV capable. Homeowners will still need to install their own EV charging equipment. By issuing these EV standards now, the ICC expects building owners to save money in the long haul, retrofitting sites with EV charging equipment such as expanded electrical panels, raceways, and pre-wiring can be much more expensive than adding to do construction $3,550 compared to $920, according to one study. The future of EV battery metals, electric vehicles, energy storage, power storage walls are all a part of the electrification of everything and, of course, the EV revolution. Nickel and cobalt absolutely have a role to play today and in the future to fulfill tomorrow. That's it for this month's market update. I'll see you next month. Take care, everyone. Happy New Year. Kung si fa kai, kung hi fa choy. Excited about the opportunities in the coming electric vehicle revolution and looking to invest in this electrification super cycle? Demand for battery metals like nickel and cobalt is expected to rise in tandem with the increase in demand for lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles. You can now buy nickel and cobalt parcels with silver bullion and have a direct price exposure to both battery metals. You have the option to buy 2-ton nickel parcels or 250-kilogram cobalt drums. Every parcel will be fully insured against loss and guaranteed to be genuine by Silver Bullion. Selling your parcels to lock in profits is as simple as logging into your Silver Bullion account, selecting the parcels, and clicking Sell. Buy your nickel and cobalt parcels now at Silver Bullion's website, www.silverbullion.com.sg slash eb and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Interested but have questions? Email us at sales at silverbullion.com.sg or give us a call at plus 65 6100 3040.